It's Monday, May 25th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju, and you're watching Korea Now. A new measure will be introduced next month in South Korea to facilitate contact tracing amid a steady rise in COVID-19 cases. South Korea plans to introduce a digitized registry of visitors at businesses that are at higher risk of becoming coronavirus clusters like clubs and karaoke bars starting June. This is to better trace the contacts of those infected with the virus. Until now, such establishments had visitors write their basic personal information by hand. But with new infections continuing to stem from these places, the venues will now have to require visitors to scan a QR code upon entry. With regards to privacy concerns, the government said the temporary system will be safer than handwritten registers because the information will be stored in an encrypted form and assured that the collected info will be automatically discarded after four weeks. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un made his first public appearance in 22 days, convening a key military meeting where the topic of expanding nuclear capabilities took center stage. The North State media on Sunday reported that he and his senior officials discussed new policies to further increase the country's nuclear war deterrence. Kim also promoted dozens of army officers during the event, including two of his top aides, Lee byung chun and Park jong chun who've been leading the regime's efforts to develop nuclear weapons and missiles. In response to Pyongyang Central Military Commission meeting, U.S. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien on Sunday renewed calls for North Korea to abandon its nuclear program if it wants to have a, quote, great economy. K-pop girl group TWICE is set to make a comeback on the first day of June. According to their label JYP Entertainment, TWICE will be returning with their ninth EP, More and More, with the title song sharing the same name as the album itself, produced by JYP founder and chief producer Park Jin Young. Many other international songwriters and producers are known to have taken part in the new album, including M. Neck of Britain, Zara Larsson of Sweden, and American singer-songwriter Julia Michaels, who have worked with many pop stars like Justin Bieber. And there's the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.